on the rapid will soon be much improved, all thanks to RTA scoring a huge economic boost. First at four, Stephen Hernandez walks you through the much needed upgrades. We are moving from a rotary dial phone to an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I think that's about the highest that we can get, right? The RTA moving into the 21st century. The federal government giving the group $130 million to upgrade its rapid system. Marks the beginning of a new infrastructure decade. The grant funded by the infrastructure bill is part of the rail vehicle replacement program phasing out Cleveland's decades-old locomotives for new and improved cars. Head of the Federal Transit Administration, Nuria Fernandez, says these trains are in desperate need of an upgrade. You have a system that is with rail cars that are the original set that was purchased 40 years ago. Fernandez, along with a crowd of local and federal leaders like Mayor Justin Bibb and Senator Sherrod Brown, hopped on a current RTA train and took a closer look at the rail facility. The leaders shocked at what they saw. It's very uh, unique in the transit industry that uh, the rail cars will be used and maintained but this group of men and women have been able to do just that now the ball is in RTA's court to figure out the timeline for when these trains get replaced but there is enough funding for there to be up to 60 new trains that'll be able to transport Clevelanders wherever they need to go here's a look at the future these renderings showing what your ride from point A to point B will soon look like. A vital system that many Northeast Ohioans take advantage of. Here in Cleveland, it is a lifeline, but that lifeline is going to make such big difference from Main Street to local streets. In Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.